Our breaking news, if we can go to Sky Fox, um, we are looking now at the end of this standoff situation. Uh, we are looking at the suspect. He just walked out of the vehicle with his hands up. This is the suspect who's been in a standoff with police for the last several hours. Uh, sheriff's uh, barricade, basically barricaded him in, and now a peaceful ending to something that we've all been watching for several hours now, Christine. Looks like the suspect has his shirt off from what we saw earlier. He had his shirt on when he was running there around that train yard. Must have been very hot inside that car, perhaps. Uh, he'd put up the shield there on the front windshield and on the side door also for uh, to block law enforcement from seeing what was happening inside that vehicle. There you see that Bearcat seemed to make all the difference, that big military-like vehicle, and allowing officers there to move in and make this arrest as a suspect there is complying but certainly it was the actions of them moving that big vehicle to the front of really a disabled suspect vehicle anyway because of the wheel you saw the wheel on the right there kind of off uh, but what it, whatever signal was sent there that suspect decided to bring this to an end it started around 2 30 though yeah and you see him there the attention on him there uh had some um well, they'll make sure that there's nobody else in the vehicle as well. That's part of the procedure as they now walk this person along those train tracks that have all now been shut down because of this incident that has been happening for the last several hours. This is the video of uh, what we were looking at earlier that led up to all of this. If you're now just joining us, that was the suspect running, as Christine pointed out, with a shirt on that's now been removed. Um, and now... Uh, that person will be behind bars. You know, Alex, when you see this behavior here, running toward a moving train like that, you saw the erratic behavior of this suspect. And so it really was all about officer safety and bringing this to an end because there was word that he might be armed. Uh, so after running here, trying to po uh, try possibly get on the train there, he turns around and goes back to his vehicle, believed to be a stolen vehicle out of Downey and Norwalk. And so really, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department just kind of sitting there waiting it out to get those bearcats into place to make their move and now you see their suspect in custody and when, when you see him you and the way that he's moving and acting one wonders if if you know drugs or alcohol uh, may be a factor in this maybe whether he's under the influence of anything uh, the good news is though it ends safely and this situation is now over we'll be back with more news after this